is presented like this. So, this is another member. So, my axes are marked this way, which is x axis, this is z axis, and this is y axis. We are worried about this member. Okay. Let us look at the view from here, because this is my <coughs> x m end of this member and this is my y m end of this member is it not. So, I look towards the x m end in the negative direction that is the view when you draw the view so this is my cross section let us say this is my y m x m is of course, your dot y m is vertical and z m is to my left. Okay this is my y m right. So, let us mark the other two angles the z beta p and y beta p. Let us take any point p on the plane let us say this is my point p. You know the psi y angle actually is the angle between y m and y beta p is it not. So, what I should do is whatever value I got I should add 180 degree to this okay? 180 degree is to be added to this is it not. So, I am actually getting this angle, but I am adding 180 to that. If I do that it becomes 244.897 degrees, which is my psi y angle for doing y z x transformation. So, by this form friends one can easily find out the direction cosines and sin angle psi angle, which is inclination of the local axis by that of the reference set of axis. Okay. Let us do quickly one more problem and understand this further in detail. So, I have a structural system like this. So, I should now say example 2 okay. and one member this way, one member this way, another member vertical. I have a frame like this. Okay. Let us mark the reference axis, this is my extension of this is my x axis, this is my y axis and z axis. So, this becomes my origin for my reference axis system. I have got three members, let us say member number 1, 
member number 2 and member number 3. Okay. Let us mark the dimensions of these members. Let us say Let us complete this. So, so let us say this dimension is 3 meters. Okay. This dimension is also 3 meters and this dimension. is also 3 meters. Okay. One is interested to compute the direction cosines and psi angle of all the three members that is the requirement. Okay. To do that let us mark the local axis of each member. The global axis is known to us the local axis I am marking this as x m, y m is anti clockwise 90 to that. So, this is y m and z m is going to be this way. Okay. So, if you look at this carefully, this is x m and this is y m okay, 90 anti clockwise, then clockwise to the right okay, z m, this is a 90 again, right. that is how for member 1 it is marked. For member 2, I take this as my origin member 2. So, this is my x m okay. to the left y m to the right z m of the member. For the third member I take this as my j th node, this is my k th node. Okay. So, in that case this becomes my x m anti clockwise this becomes my y m and to the right this becomes my z m correct that is how they are marked. Let us make a simple table to understand this. Let us say the joint what are the global x y z coordinates of the joint. Okay, let us name the joints this is A, this is B this is C and this is D. <coughs> Let us say joint A, joint B and joint C and joint D okay, with reference to the global axis. Joint A you know A is exactly matching with the reference axis origin. So, it is 0 0 0. If you look at the point B you know you have travelled 3 meters in x but along y and z you have not travelled anything. So, 3 0 0. If you look at C that is this joint you have travelled 3 meters along x along y no travel, but along z it is minus 3 meters is it not. If you look at D you have travelled 3 meters along x you have travelled 3 along y and you have travelled minus 3 along y and you have travelled minus 3 along z as well. So, now the coordinates x y z have been established for all the joints a b c d. Okay. Let us now try to estimate the psi angle of them. Let us make another table let us say member okay. the length of the member l i let us say in meters. Let us say the joint system what is the ordinate of j joint and k joint. Okay. Let us now mark the direction cosines which are C x, C y and C z. Then let us decide about the type of transformation we want. 
okay. then we take about the psi angle. Okay. Let us see what are the members let us say A B, B C and C D there are 3 members let us mark them here A B, okay. B C and C D. Let us see the length of all the members A B is 3 meters, B C is again 3 meters, C D is also 3 meters. Let us enter 3.0, 3.0 and 3.0. Let us see what are the J and K end of A B. Okay. This is J, and this is K, that is its origin here. So, it is J is at A, is it not? And K is at B. Similarly, for this, this is at B and this at D, C. Whereas, for C D, origin is here. So, it is D and C, correct? Then let us talk about direction cosines. <coughs> let us ask a question how a direction cosine is defined. Okay. Now, direction cosine is cos gamma i j okay. that is what is called direction cosine, where if I say gamma 1 1 it is actually the first one is the x m axis, the second one is the global axis. Okay. So, I want to know for the member 1 what would be the C x value that is inclination of x m axis with x axis, y axis, z axis and that angle I have to take the cos of that angle. Okay. So, let us see this figure now what is the inclination of x m axis with x. So, it is 0 is it not because x and x are aligned in that case this angle okay, this angle is 0. What is the inclination of y m axis x m axis with y 90 degree x m axis with z 90 degree. So, this is 90 this is 90 therefore, I should say c x c y z z will be c x c y and c z in this case will be cos of this cos 0 1 0 and 0. Let us do this for member 2. Okay. So, I want to now find inclination of x m member x m of that member with x y and z. Let us see what are these angles x m is aligned along with z therefore, the angle of inclination of x m with x global Okay, is 90 is it not. Similarly, y m sorry x m with y is again 90 is it not. Whereas, x m with z is aligned, but minus ok. So, I should say minus 1. So, the c x c y and c z for member 2 will be 0, 0 and minus 1. Similarly, for member 3 let us see what is the inclination of x m axis with x, y and z global let us see the angles. Okay. x m of this member is vertical. So, x m inclination with x is 90 degree okay. 90 degrees x m inclination with y is aligned. So, 0 degrees is it not? So, 0 degrees x m inclination with z is 90 degree again. So, my c x c y c z for member 3 will be actually 0 because cos 90 is 0 1 and 0. Let us enter that value here is going to be 1 0 0. 0 0 minus 1 and 0 1 0 is it not that is what you have found out you can see 1 0 0 0 0 minus 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 minus 1 0 1 0. Okay. Let us decide the type of transformation <coughs> you know if you look at the x m axis it is inclined with x. So, one can go for any kind of transformation we can try y z x transformation for the member b c x m is aligned with z. Okay. 
So, no issue x m is aligned with z. So, no issue. So, one can go for y z x transformation. If you look at third x m is aligned with y. So, I cannot go for y z x. I should go for z y x transformation. So, my angle will be psi y psi y and psi z. I would like to see this. The moment you say psi y it is angle between the y m and z m and y m and y is it not that is the angle. Let us see what is happening here y m and y ok. So, that is 0 ok. Similarly, for the second member y m and y again 0 for the second member ok for the third member y m is horizontal whereas y is vertical so 90 degree 90. So, by this logic one can easily work out the psi angle by inspection. So, friends let us look at the summary of this lecture. In this lecture we picked up two example problems of space frame. We found out the direction cosines. We also found out the psi angle after desiring the type of transformation correct. We extend this algorithm to analyze three dimensional space structure in the next class. Thank you very much.